Well, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Jamie Andrews, and if you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate you go ahead and subscribe. Uh, it helps support the channel. Today, we're going to talk about the different brush rollers from Roborock. Um, from the oldest, which this is the one that came in the original S5, uh, uh, this is also the one that does not have detachable ends. It was came in the original S5. When the uh, S4 was released, uh, we, we got uh, the this next version of the brush roller with beige ends and the ends were detachable so that you could remove hair. Now, uh, there were a few other differences and I will link the video up above showing uh, the test that I ran between these two brushes and whether or not the old one was better than the new one, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about the new one that has just been released in the S7. That's this one right here. Uh, currently, this is not for sale unless you buy an S7 and then it'll come inside of it. Uh, you cannot buy this yet. Uh, it will be uh, available pretty soon according to Roborock. A lot of people have asked me, can they run the S7 brush roller in the older models, like the uh, S4 models, the S5, and the S6 models? And today we're going to test that out. We're going to put this brush roller in uh, my S4 Max and we're going to test it to see will it work and also does it do a better job of picking up than the uh, or original brush roller that would come in the S4 Max. Uh, so stick with me. Here we're going to go ahead and start those tests and we'll have a conclusion at the end. All right, so we're going to start the test off with a quarter cup of just plain white rice and I'm going to pour that here in the middle of my floor and begin a spot cleaning uh, for the S4 Max. Now this is, once again, this is starting off with the S4 Max with its original uh, roller brush with bristles and rubber. Uh, so this is just a baseline test to see how well it does at picking up a quarter cup of rice. Uh, and so it's about to be done here. And uh, as you can see, it did leave some rice around on the carpet. This is again the S4 Max, uh, and we'll weigh this up here at the very end. Now I've put the new S7 roller brush in the S4 Max and a quarter cup of rice once again, uh, poured in the middle of the floor, and we'll go ahead and do the same exact spot cleaning and go ahead and get that started now. Um, now with the S4 Max running the spot cleaning here in the middle of the floor with the S7's brush in the middle of it, uh, one thing when I began running this test is I uh, had a little unexpected event happen and we'll show you that there at the end of the video. Um, it wasn't very pretty uh, and it did cause some damage so make sure you stay tuned towards the end of the video and I'll show you what happened. Alright so now it's finished with the spot cleaning and uh, as you can see here it did leave some rice. Now upon uh, initial inspection it kind of looked about the same to me uh, so we'll get that straight to figuring that out. Okay, so here are the results. Uh, the one here to the left is the S4 Max with its regular roller brush here, the one with bristles. Uh, and the one on the right is the S4 Max running the brush from the uh, S7. So the S4 Max, we've got 48 grams on the dot. Can you see that? 48 grams on the dot. That's with the original brush roller. And with the uh, S7's brush roller, uh, 49.6. So 1.6 grams of rice more. Uh, that's fairly close. I'd say it's not really a significant difference. Um, I'd also say it's not enough of a difference to really warrant going out and getting S7 brush roller when they become available. And let me tell you why. So when I ran this brush, let's get rid of all this stuff here. When I ran this S7 brush in the S4 Max, and this would be the same with all the other Roborock models, all of them uh, have a cover just like this for the brush roller, and they have these bars going across it. Now in the original brush, of course it doesn't matter with the bristles, but you see these slots cut into the rubber part that is lines up with these these this bar here the bar goes through just like this as you can see it lines up perfectly and the rubber goes through there well you don't have those in the um 
a brush roller for the S7. And what has happened, if you can see it there on camera, I think you can see it, but right here, across here, and right across here, it has, right, right here, it has notched um, from rubbing on the bar. So when this is sitting in here, in the machine, it was sitting just like this. And as you can see, the brush roller was actually coming in contact when it was spinning and thus making uh, little slits in the rubber. Now they're not extremely deep, um, but it did cut it. If you can see there, it is sliced open. So uh, that would probably continue to disintegrate. So because of that, I am not going to recommend you use a S7 brush roller in any other Roborock device to date, unless it, a future one comes with this. Uh, stick with uh, your old traditional brush roller, which is designed to go in the S6, uh, S5, and S4 model. We'll stick with this one uh, and just leave this one for the S7. Well, there you go, folks. I have had a lot of people asking me about this, and uh, that's the conclusion. Uh, would not, definitely would not recommend running this brush roller in the uh, any other robot other than the S7. All right, well, I appreciate your review here, and um, uh, if you haven't already, I would appreciate if you would go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate your time watching this video. Make sure you share and like. Go ahead and smash that like button, please. All right, everybody, take it easy out there. Bye-bye.